Times Square, New York's biggest tourist trap. But can you actually find good food here? Today, our challenge is to find out. Now, it might not look like much from the outside, but Margon, half block off Times Square, one of the best hole in the wall Cuban restaurants in New York City. This place is no secret, I will tell you to locals. Locals know about this spot. And you eat a lot of Cuban food in Miami now, right? That's right. I mean, the standard in Miami is Versailles restaurant. They make some pretty good Cuban food, but let's try it in Times Square. Just one Cuban sandwich? Okay. I also get three Cuban coffees? Three Cuban coffees? Yeah. These are strong, right? Uh, no idea. <laughs> I still wait for these coffees. <laughs> Need an energy boost. This is no ordinary Cuban sandwich. This is special. For me, we've got roast pork, ham, salami, melted Swiss, mayo, mustard, garlic sauce, toasted bread. What else could you ask for? Yeah, let's try it. Let's see how it compares. Mm. Mm. It's so meaty. I've been through three different layers of meat there. The salami, the roast pork, and the ham all at once. Paired with that mustard, nicely toasted bread. That's a good experience. I'm enjoying this. It took me a good like 15 seconds to chew through it all. There's so much meat in this thing, man. But the garlic sauce, the mayo, mustard, I think it really makes it. Overall, a great Cuban sandwich. If you're a carnivore, you're gonna love this place. They have plates too that you can get. You don't just have to get a sandwich. You can get a pretty big lunch for about 14 bucks. Oh, what is that? Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, muchas gracias. Thank you. So they saw us filming. I didn't tell them we were coming, and uh, they're gifting us shrimp ceviche. I love ceviche. Let me try. Mm. Good flavor. It was a lot fresher than you would expect to get in New York City. Do you feel like this is, I'll use a big word, the antithesis of a Times Square restaurant? I mean, yeah, you don't really want to think there's a place in Times Square. You would think it's a chain restaurant, so the only thing around here. We are going to be hitting some chains today. It is Times Square, but I feel like I had to show you all a spot that locals actually go to. In fact, looking around, I don't think I saw a single tourist in here. Right off Times Square, half block away, surrounded by these big restaurants, big flashy spots, you got Margon, which has been here like 50 years. Starting off a challenge on the right foot. All right, this coffee is dangerously addictive. <laughs> ready to uh, explore more Times Square. Jollibee opened in Times Square just a few months ago, and there's now three of these in New York City. This is no ordinary fast food chain, trust me. Super famous in the Philippines and all over the world. I don't think I've ever been to a Jollibee in the US that did not have a long line. Interesting fact, there's actually a Jollibee across the street from Port Authority, like five minutes away. Let that sink in. Two Jollibees in Midtown. Amazing Ben worked at Jollibee in Virginia. How do you feel walking into this shop? I feel proud, honestly. It's almost like the ultimate Filipino immigrant thing to do in America is to work at Jollibee, you know? I'm very proud to have been part of it. Proud to be Filipino. Definitely. I would like a uh, two-piece chicken joy with a side of uh, white rice, uh, a jolly spaghetti order, and I want to get a peach mango pie, and then two more of the pineapple juices. This isn't the first time we've included a Jolly Bee on the channel. We filmed at the one about three blocks away a couple times, and I've had a lot of viewers surprised at me for including this. They're thinking like, why would you include some random Filipino fast food chain on your New York guides? And I always tell them this is different. This is not that common around the world and people are addicted to this fast food. Myself included, I love their chicken joy. So we got a two piece, I'm gonna have one. Action, could you insist it on the Jolly Spaghetti, why? Yeah, because it's a little bit different and you really can't find this anywhere like in a Italian restaurant. Who puts hot dogs and spaghetti together, you know? It's also sweet. It's uh, an acquired taste, I would say. It's not for everyone. I'm a fan of it, but I have had people say they don't like it. Right, here we go. Here we go. Mm. Crunchy and crispy and not that spicy. It's got a little kick to it I'm feeling right now, but I've never gone wrong with a chicken joy ever. Mm -hmm. What about yours? Definitely very savory, sweet sauce, hot dogs. I mean, you just feel good eating this. <laughs> I've always felt that a kid, like children, would find this spaghetti interesting. If you want your children to try something new in New York, maybe sweet spaghetti like this would work. Yeah, definitely. I like it. 
I want a bucket of this next to Adriana, my wife, watching Netflix. The perfect like binge TV food to have this. Mm. And there's a reason why this chicken scored high in our fried chicken uh, food test. Yes. We had Jolly Bee on that. Dedicated video. Asian fried chicken video we did, it scored quite highly. I'll put this over any of the American fried chicken chains like KFC. Like, I'm sorry, I picked Jolly Bee. All right, step one, spoon and fork. You gotta use your spoon as a knife, just like so. Now you gotta take this piece of chicken, dunk it into the gravy, prepare your bed of rice, put the chicken on top. Ooh. Make sure it's dripping in gravy, see? And then for the bite. Mm. Mm. That's how you do a chicken joy. It's a three-part series, chicken <laughs> rice gravy. People rave about these peach mango pies. I mean, this is actually my favorite thing at Jollibee. I don't know what it is, but this skin is so, so good. It's like super flaky, unbelievable. I feel like I'm in heaven right now. Just, I would have a whole lunch, just peach mango pie from Jollibee. Kind of jealous right now, kind of jealous. If you're visiting New York and you're gonna be in Times Square and Midtown a lot, check out our latest guide to the area. We've got maps, suggestions, a lot of what's in this video is gonna be in that guide and a lot more, link in the description. This is an absolute viewer favorite, Los Tacos number one. You know how Shake Shack got started in New York and spread all over the US? Well, this is one of five Los Tacos number ones in the city and one of my favorites. I have seen lines lasting 30 minutes before, at least during like the lunch rush. Right now, it's pretty chill and by far the best taco you're gonna find in the Times Square area. No ticket, no taco. Look at that trompa right there, humongous. Con todo, right? Con todo, con todo. This place never gets old. This never gets old. The price has slowly but surely gone up on these. These are close to $5 a taco, but I will give a pass to any spot that's right next to Times Square because the rent here is ridiculous. I know, I mean, considering its location, I mean, five bucks a taco. I think they're worth it. I think they're personally worth it. Well, we gotta bite into it, see if it's still worth it. See if it's still good. Here we go, con todo, arubada. Mm. And I know what people are thinking, well, this is really expensive, but having my wife from Mexico eating many tacos in Mexico, maybe they're a dollar there, but they're half as big. You get so much meat in these tacos. Again, I'm not saying this is cheap per se, but one of these tacos right now, like I'm starting to feel it, they're heavy. Yeah, they are. You really feel like all the pork in here, the pineapple's a nice touch. I mean, you gotta get it con total when you get it here. Cilantro, onion, salsa, guacamole. Yeah, it's also a little spicy, depending on your tolerance. Maybe you don't want to ask for it, but this is excellent. I love their uh, handmade tortillas as well. I think that's something that really sets them apart. I don't know if you agree, but I feel like the New York Mexican food scene is really on the rise. We were always second, third fiddle to Chicago, LA. But New York's up and coming. Yeah, I feel it. I mean, years ago, you can never find a place like this in Manhattan. No, definitely not. So those tacos is starting the right trend here, but now it's all about like the birria tacos popping up everywhere. That's and, right. and even Mexican spots that didn't have birria in New York now have birria. This Krispy Kreme is so big, you can see it two blocks away. This is the world's largest Krispy Kreme donut, and it's bright, it's loud, it fits perfectly into Times Square. It's also the busiest Krispy Kreme donut in the world, and I've never been here before. So I'm finally knocking this off the list. AK, have you been here? No, never. I mean, I pass by all the time, but I never thought to go in here. I was like, eh, it's Krispy Kreme, but... I mean, I'm a Dunkin' Donuts guy, but we'll, we'll see if I change allegiances after this. And by the way, they have 24-hour pickup at their walk-up window. I don't know if any other Krispy Kremes in the world offer that. See where it all begins. Look. Wow, wow. That's pretty cool. I love the open layout. Look at all that glaze getting dropped. If you're a Krispy Kreme fan, you can, you know, complete the experience by buying a t-shirt. 25 bucks, that's not terrible. Wanted to do a three pack of the original glazed, and then I wanted to do a three pack of the um, custom assorted. I do strawberry ice glaze with sprinkles, chocolate cream, and then one of the Oreo cookies and cream. <laughs> Gaining weight just looking at this, man. <laughs> This is like a, a really touristy experience that I'm happy to be 
trying. Oreo cream donut. Original glaze. glaze. It's been a while since I had crispy cream. Let's see what's up. Sure. Let's see what's yep. up. Mm. Once I got to the cream filling of the Oreo, that's when I got satisfied with it. Not bad. Not the best donut I've ever had in my life. I won't lie to you. But interesting. What about yours? Yeah, I mean, John, you really, you gotta try this original glaze. It's fluffy. It's got the sugar on it. I mean, you talked me into it. I love glazed. Mmm. Much better for me. Yeah. You can see that they really specialize in this donut, and mm. they're they're gonna do it well. Yep. Buy the Cuban coffee from Margon. Come here for one of these. Dunk that in there. Oh. That's a morning. That's a breakfast. That's what you gotta do. Mm. All right, great to bake. Krispy Kreme or Dunkin' Donuts? What do you, where, what do you go? Krispy Kreme. I need to try more to give you a proper answer, but I'm leaning Krispy Kreme right now. I'm gonna come back someday, have more flavors, give you a final answer. Now that you know where to eat in Times Square, in this video here, I'll show you a few blocks away some lunch specials in Midtown Manhattan that'll change your life. Trust me, watch this next.